we're here at Chapman Elementary. Not a cloud in the sky, but plenty of birds in the sky. Behind me west is the smokestack for the uh, Chapman Elementary. And we're going to see thousands of chimney swifts about to go down into that chimney. It's about oh, an hour before sunset. Let's take a look. The first of the birds are arriving now. They're flying in from nearly every direction, but they are traveling in more or less a counterclockwise direction as they approach the school. And here's the object they're all seeking, the famed chimney at Chapman Elementary. Now these birds are especially designed for hanging on to vertical surfaces, and the chimney suits their needs just fine. People are also flocking to Chapman Elementary to watch tonight's events. People are picnicking on the lawn while children are sliding down on cardboard boxes. And here they are. The birds are arriving in great numbers now. Yes, indeed, the birds are spiraling around the chimney. Periodically, they get spooked and fly away from the chimney, but they will be back soon. This aerial acrobat is only four or five inches long with a wingspan of 11 inches. Although many birds have already arrived, very few are actually going into the chimneys yet. It appears that they're waiting for more birds to come. The sun is beginning to set, and hundreds more birds are flying in every single minute. The chimney swifts, also known as the box swift, are not coming to Chapman Elementary to nest, but to rest, or if you prefer, to roost. While thousands gather, they will be joining the migration pattern that will take them to Central America and as far south as South America, namely Venezuela. And it appears, yes, that something has snuggled the birds. They've been snuggled, they have flown off, but they'll be back very, very soon. I see a few more on the horizon. Here come some more swifts. A few of the swifts appear to, yes, yes, they appear to be flying into the chimney. It looks like the roosting process has begun as swifts enter the chimney at Chapman Elementary. Finding a place to stay in this chimney is not easy. When all is said and done, over 35,000 birds will roost in the same place. Ladies and gentlemen, a predatory bird has just joined the scene. It looks like, yes, it is an American kestrel. It has come into Chapman Elementary, and here it comes. Birds are scattering in all directions, and all mayhem has broken loose. It appears that this bird of prey has come from nowhere looking for an evening meal. The birds are in a panic. They don't know which way to fly. Where is the predator now? Where is the American kestrel? The kestrel is a small hawk with a wingspan of about 24 inches. It's clearly a very colorful bird of prey that's native to North America and dines on, well, what else but small birds. Here it is again in slow motion as the bird flies right across the top of the chimney at Chapman and through the thick of birds trying to grab a meal. The birds were clearly spooked by this chilling turn of events and are more frantic than ever to find safety inside that chimney. spotted again and it looks like it's making its way towards the chimney once more. Oh, yes, yes, and here he comes, here he comes. The crowd is reacting to the kestrels as are the swifts and hundreds of swifts are escorting the kestrel out, away, I repeat, away from Chapman Elementary. But he's given them the slip and here, here returns the kestrel. You can see it now hovering above the flock of birds. And he is, he's about to take a giant bomb and here goes. 
Wait, through the birds. Does he have one? He's disappeared. I don't see him. Swift. Darkness is rapidly closing in, and with the threat of the Kestrel gone, the Swifts are more frantic than ever to get into the chimney, into safety, and roost for the evening.